guys and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the stuff that I bought on Black Friday. Now a little bit of an introduction if you don't follow me on Twitter or if you don't know what Black Friday is. Um, first of all, if you aren't from the States, Black Friday pretty much only exists there because it is the day after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving falls on a Thursday um, in the US and on the Friday after that everybody starts all their Christmas sales so there is a big, big kind of shopping rush. Um, the only thing that we have to compare it to in the UK is like the Boxing Day sales. Um, so that is what Black Friday is. If any of you guys didn't know that I was actually in the States for Black Friday, if you don't follow me on Twitter, um, go and follow me because, yay, I like people following me on Twitter. Um, but if you don't follow me on Twitter, I was in New York with my mum for Thanksgiving and for Black Friday. So I thought I should do a haul showing you all what I got on Black Friday. Um, I know it is actually two weeks to the day that I'm filming this that it was Black Friday, but I had a couple of other videos that I wanted to get up, my November favourites and my Get Ready With Me um, video that I've just got up. So. I kind of didn't know when else to put this video. So here it is, it's late, but I hope you don't mind. Um, and I wanted to show you some of the awesome bargains that I bought on Black Friday. So first of all is this red dress. Now, this is actually from um, Free People, but I bought it at Bloomingdale's. And my mum and I found that Bloomingdale's was actually one of the best places to shop on Black Friday. We didn't really have a game plan. A lot of people were like, you need a game plan to shop on Black Friday. Like, you need to know where you're going because it's going to be so busy. But my mum and I basically, like, got up early but not super early, we weren't like up at midnight or anything um, and we just had a wander around, we started off in Soho and then we went up to kind of Midtown in New York and just had a look in the shops and we found the best place for the best bargains was actually Bloomingdale's in terms of what we bought because there was already a sale on um, a lot of their uh, stock anyway so they had like a sale on which was 40% off and then on Black Friday and the whole weekend they had I think it was 25 to 30 percent off most things in the store and then an extra 50 percent off anything that was already on sale so if you could find something that was already on sale then you would get like it ridiculously cheap so like 80 percent off basically and then if you spent a hundred dollars they would give you a 15 dollar gift card so that's like 15 percent extra so um it was a pretty good deal anyway the dress that i got um was this one from free people like i said it's a red lace dress with a nude um, lining under it. It's actually really really pretty. I don't own many red dresses. I'm kind of a little bit scared but I thought this was really kind of a nice soft kind of gentle one to start me off with red dresses because I do think they look pretty. Um, I actually love the hemline of this dress. It's almost like a handkerchief hemline so it comes down in the front and the back and it is finished with a different type of lace which I just think is a nice little detail and then it has three quarter length sleeves. Really pretty. This was originally um, $123 I think. It was then reduced to like 77 and then had an extra, it must have had more than 50% off because it ended up being $30 which is like £20 which is so amazing and my mum actually bought um, the same dress for me for Christmas in black and it was kind of like funny because I was trying this one on and the black one and I asked her to take the black one to the register to find out how much it was because this was the first thing we bought we weren't quite sure about how all the discount stuff worked and I came up and it was $30, I was like, oh my god, I really want the red one too, my mum was like buying the black one, I was like, mum, and so now I know that I've got it for Christmas, but um, she meant to kind of do it whilst I was out there, but I think, I don't know what her plan was, anyway, um, another place that we went to was American Eagle, they had 40% off everything in the entire store, um, which was a pretty good deal, my mum absolutely loved American Eagle, I'm not too crazy about the girl stuff, I like the guy stuff, but what I do like for girls is their um, underwear section, because they do some quite cute things like this, this is actually um, a t-shirt, they sell like a lot of underwear and pyjamas, but they also sell a few bits of clothing too, um, and this is one of those burnout t-shirts, so it's a little bit sheer, like you probably have to wear a tank top underneath it, but it has these beautiful sequin sleeves, and I just think it's really nice, it's made out of such nice soft material, and this was originally $40, so I think it would have been like just over $20 with the 40% off, so I thought that was pretty good, considering the detail that goes into the sleeves too, and I think nice for Christmas. And then I did buy a lot of other gifts from um, American Eagle, mainly for guys, because I think their guys' stuff is really good. I also picked up a lot of stuff from Gap, and I don't normally shop in Gap very often, but we went in to look for a few things that my mum wanted to get for some Christmas gifts, and they had such a good sale on. The whole of the Black Friday weekend, they had like between 60 and 30% off like everything in the entire shop. So I got a few jumpers, another disclaimer for anyone that isn't in the UK. A jumper means a sweater, I don't know why we call them jumpers, but we just do. The first one that I got is this fluorescent pink one, um, which is just really plain, but it has these kind of faded 
edges on both the neckline and the sleeves and the bottom and I just thought it was really fun. I'm not like the biggest fan of jumpers, I find it kind of hard to find ones that I like so that was kind of my mission in New York. Also it was really cold when we were there so I kind of wanted to buy warm and cosy things. I think this was 40% off and I believe it was originally like $40 so it came in just over 20 again. Um, and then I also got this jumper which also has neon pink on it. Um, I was actually looking at this um, when I was in LA with Mike and I almost bought it at full price and I was kind of unsure so I didn't get it but then I got it in the Black Friday sale for 60% off so it was like just over $20 which is such a bargain. It's like a navy stripe with um, kind of like a cable knit neon pink section at the top and I think this is quite cute for Christmas even though it's like, not like Christmas colours it's quite kind of festive. So that was a really good bargain. And then I also got a scarf from Gap, which I absolutely love this. And I bought the same scarf for one of my friends for Christmas. I'm not gonna say who, cause she might watch this, but it's a really, really thick, chunky knit, black and white stripy scarf with um, hearts on it. And I just, I think it's so warm and cozy. I absolutely love it. You can kind of like wrap it around. I love monochrome as well in the winter. I think it looks really nice. So, my hair's gone kind of crazy, but that's what the scarf looks like. It's huge! I just think it's so nice, especially like, because it gets so cold in the winter, I just think it's really snuggly. I might leave it on, actually. Is that a bit much for the rest of the video? It probably is, isn't it? <laughs> um, and I think this was just over $20 as well, like $25 it came in at with the 40% off. Um, and that's everything I got from Gap. I did get a lot of presents from Gap because they had such good deals on. And then I also got a few things from J. Crew. Um, I love J. Crew. They didn't have a huge sale, um, but what they did have was 25% off your entire purchase. So I got a few um, gifts from there, as well as this jumper that I'm wearing now, which is just, um, it's kind of a square shape, like it's fairly short, but it's a grey jumper with black sleeves and then these really pretty black bows on it. And I absolutely love that. So I kind of went all jumpery out on Black Friday, but this, like I said, was 25% off, and then I got a couple of different accessories. I bought this belt, which I'd been eyeing up for a while, and the kind of 25% discount just pushed me over the edge for it, really. It's like this really pretty taupe colour with these gold hinges, and then um, a fake snake print, like neon pink, on the front. So you do it up and it's neon pink at the front, and then it's taupe at the back, and I just thought that's quite a pretty little belt, and I wear belts a lot, so. I thought that was nice and then I also got um, this headband which I just think is so cute. It's like this vintage style taupe ribbon that has like frayed edges with these really pretty diamantes on them and I just think that's really cute. I think it'd be nice for Christmas and kind of New Year and stuff because it's super sparkly. So I love that and again 25% off and then the last place that I went to was Forever 21 and I didn't pick up any clothes. Um, but I did pick up this hat. I actually bought this hat the day before Black Friday, which was Thanksgiving. Surprisingly, the shops in New York were open on Thanksgiving. My mum and I arrived on Thanksgiving afternoon because we, like, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving in the UK, so we weren't too bothered about... I hope you can take me seriously talking in this hat. Can you guys? Um, I know I can't look at myself in the viewfinder. I'm like, ah! Um, yeah, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so we didn't mind like flying in on Thanksgiving or whatever. So. We arrived and we left the hotel after we checked in. We were like, let's maybe find somewhere where we can get a coffee or something. We didn't think anything was open and like most of the shops were open, like 70% of them, which we thought was crazy. Anyway, so I bought this Hello Kitty hat on Thanksgiving and then I bought a couple of bits of jewellery. Forever 21 isn't quite as exciting for me when I'm in the States now because we do have it in England um, and it is fairly affordable in England. It's definitely cheaper in the States, but um, it is a little bit more... Um, it's still pretty affordable in the UK too. I picked up these earrings, which are really cute, and they were like $4.80. Um, and I thought they were pretty. And then I also picked up, and I've worn this already because I love it, I picked up this necklace, which is this gorgeous, like, lilac colour with all these stones in it. I thought it was so pretty because I've worn this necklace so much, which I got from Primark um, a little while ago. I really like that kind of statement necklace at the moment and I thought I kind of need another one because I've worn this one with literally like every single outfit. Um, so I thought this would just be a nice change up for my necklaces at the moment and it was $11. So I really like that. And that is it for my New York Black Friday haul, I think. Um, yeah, not I didn't buy like a crazy amount of stuff obviously because I just got back from LA and it's Christmas coming up so I bought a ton of stuff for other people, literally. Me and my mum were like packing 
packing our suitcases like crazy trying to fit everything in because we bought basically all of our Christmas shopping when we were there because it was such like amazing amazing deals everything was like 40% off which was great so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul video I will see you very soon with another video on this channel don't forget I am vlogging every single day for the whole month of December so if you want to go and check out my vlogs I'll put a link in the info bar below and also don't forget this weekend is your last kind of little chance to enter my Christmas gift guide giveaway if you want to win the iPads uh, the barber jacket, the Kate Spade wallet, all of that good stuff I showed in my Christmas gift guides. Um, they will be linked in the info bar as well. You guys can go and enter a comment to be in with a chance of winning them. They close on Tuesday, I believe. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I will see you next time. Bye!